welcome to your magic moon message this is the peace dealer moon in scorpio sun in aquarius we have reached 270 degree peak quality in uh, the fixed zodiac signs of quality currency and royalty <sighs> taurus being natural royalty leo being solar royalty uh, natural pertaining to your physical body and senses, solar pertaining to your passion, courage, and heart, pure energy pertaining to the psyche and the psychological nature of your intuition, uh, and cosmic energy representing the universal combining energy, you could say the chi that connects us together, uh, but also the mind. All right, so we had the new moon in Capricorn that turned into the moon in Aries, 90 degrees square. That turned into the full moon in Leo, 180 degree opposition. And now we are at the 270 degree moon in Scorpio, third quarter square. This is going to, in a week, prepare us for the new moon in Aquarius. We're gonna start a brand new cosmic cycle which will also serve as part two of the completion arc in that part one is new moon in Capricorn moving forward with a new cycle of activating universal power. And then part two is wrapping that around after harvesting that power in the form of energy so that we can activate new knowledge in the form of energy. And that's going to produce a divine collective effect Sun Kazemi, meaning conjunction to Neptune and Saturn, the the last week of February and then mid-March. Of course, the new moon in Pisces, a brand new magic cycle, a brand new perspective, a shift in your belief. That's going to also bring in officially the beginning of the end of the world. So this is a very important transit. One thing I want to note and maybe make a video about is Pluto and Aquarius is awakening new fixtures. Okay, um, Jess Hilarious is a great example, and, and really any other Aquarians, if you think Oprah is a fixture in the talk show community, uh, especially with her channel and brand, um, and if you take the example of Jess Hilarious, um, who, you know, is, I think, on The Breakfast Club, and as an Aquarius with Pluto in her sign, the beginning of the sign is marking a literal new era because you have her representing this newer generation as a fixture, as someone who's literally a fixed presence day in, day out. So you have to really notice stuff like that because you know the universe as above, so below, uh, energy speaks through life, animals, humans, and seeing something like that as like a Groundhog's Day, uh, letting us know that, you know, we are signaling. I mean, this is a progression of life. It's, it's going to happen anyway. But it's, it's you know, very interesting. I want to use her as an example. And you're going to see Pluto and Aquarius now create new fixtures in new fields, previous fields. Um, and the moon in Scorpio is a very deep, insightful, and pure understanding, a psychological, psychoanalytical understanding of the completion of the harvest we've made since a week ago. So the courageous and passionate understanding that had us prepare to come into much more extraordinary knowledge and knowing is taking the analysis through the moon and Virgo and presentation and it's deepening how we can transform this synthesis as we will not only understand wisdom, but a transit that is intense. Look, so reveals what is hidden so that you can transform your understanding of the legacy that this cycle of knowledge is guiding you towards, as well as what is the quality of energy you have completed harvesting, okay? Um, since we know that this is based off of the activation of God power within you, the connection of Saturn and Neptune to the moon in Scorpio from Pisces is going to strengthen with Scorpio the perception 
that the moon unveils wisdom in. In fact, those Pisces placements will now add a supernatural quality of perception through synchronicities, through just really being able to perceive your higher mind through your imagination so that this can strengthen the understanding of wisdom that is preparing you for the zero degree new moon Aquarius conjunction. So over the next week, we're going to pretty much download wicked awesome secrets about the entirety of your journey up until this point. That was where the moon square to Pluto in Aquarius was very extreme because you are leaving behind one facet of your life forever along with an entire collective who may have attached their identity to certain traditions and themes that no longer apply to who they are now and where they're going. Uh, but this is going to lead into the moon in Sagittarius. The moon in Sagittarius. The moon in Sagittarius uh, really influences now the 11th house divvying up of the harvest so once you complete the harvest the 10th house is basically after after the harvest phase where you're separating the weeds the weeds from what's salvageable you now at the 10th house look at okay this is everything i harvested it's your high score relative to the seeds you planted you are now coming into the reputation of the success or lack thereof based off of what you sowed you reap and once we get to the 11th house moon and sag you're going to see where to disseminate the wisdom of this knowledge. Well, now that you have the full harvest, do you share it? Do you gross pay, net pay it? Do you give it out to anyone else who helped or is it all yours? This is what you're gonna see relative to where the quality of your energy aligns you before we now release it during the balsamic in Capricorn and then boom, we start that new cycle in Aquarius. So as the moon goes deeper into Scorpio, expect uncanny revelation the key feature of this transit is the Jupiter and Uranus opposition in Taurus, which is going to begin to harvest the once every 28 day cycle we have with moon in Taurus uh, that will only last until May 2024. So this 28 day cycle will shift to Gemini once we, uh, of course, step into May of 2024, then it's going to be a perceptual seed planning. Um, and then with Uranus for 2026. So uh, two weeks ago, the moon in Taurus enabled us to plant seeds while the sun was still in capricorn and we were manifesting our power physically so a lot of now this more grounded and more physical understanding of your natural capabilities is getting ready to harvest again opposite moon and scorpio to transform that understanding to dive deeper into how you can harness this energy and to quite literally feel the unspoken element of what maybe has been difficult to put into words until this final air sign of Aquarius to really complete knowledge that many of you have been compiling since May, June of 2023, programming your brain, your sp spiritual intelligence instead of artificial intelligence. So <clears throat> really, really powerful for that. This is going to also trigger sudden transformations as far as what more you're capable of doing by the time you get to the new moon. So uh, everything about this is to remember Mars, Venus, and Mercury that are getting ready to go into Aquarius and go over Pluto. They're completing the harvest that they conjuncted in Aries and Taurus in April and May. So this is where as they square the Taurus energy in Aquarius, you continue to see more of this completion of harvest. And this moon in Scorpio is a really powerful transformative point that will most definitely lead towards there, especially when we take into account how much this wisdom will shift considerably how you approach the rest of the year. Um, everything that is uncovered at this deep psychological level or psychoanalytical level, you will see, you will understand the higher meaning and vision of once the moon goes in a Sag, that's the beautiful thing about moon and Scorpio, moon, Sag transits, moon, Libra, Scorpio, Sag provide uh, not just emotional, but psychic breakthrough through, of course, presenting facts through Virgo uh, 
understanding the wisdom and then seeing the higher meaning of that wisdom, the effect of this transformation effectively of your energy. But it hits different because you're going to know what is transforming and why. So, yeah, just be mindful of that. Uh, once again, this is a completion of that new moon transit that you kicked off. And this is going to add a lot more strength and psychological uh, defense relative to psychic attack and being able to stand on the values you have defending your own eccentricities uh, against more of a pop culture or society or collective that feels like it can control low self-esteem due to its manipulative tactics which a transit like this enables you to both stand on your own two feet and not be a bitch but also connect with other people who are also not bitches and you can now form community relative to this i wanted to use the word bitch because the, the word bitch has just a beautiful emphasis and i just love it as a word but other than that um i hope you enjoy this transit I feel like what's very key here is to prepare the rest of this third quarter square new moon and prepare you for the Pisces transit, the great ride into the new era. So, yeah, um, take stock. Once again, the wisdom you are psychoanalyzing with Scorpio is to give you an insight of the harvest you are completing, the quality of wisdom and energy that is strengthening psychologically the cosmic mental energy that is geared towards with this new moon with Pluto and Aquarius awakening your life force energy awakening your mental force the force okay and that's really cool some of you may become Jedi overnight not realizing that you've been training uh, to be one your whole life so uh, yeah that being said I'm gonna end this a bit short right here I hope you guys enjoy uh, this transit. You guys stay blessed as always and until next time.